Hello everyone. Welcome to this GATE 2016 Mathematics exam. Uh, today we will discuss about how you can solve this LPP based questions which was asked as question number 44 and 45 is there. You can see these are the two marks each are there so you can easily get a four marks within a few minutes you can try to learn that trick what is the question number 44 and 45 tell you. You can see all of the cases you have to find the minimum or the max value of this that is you want to solve them. You can see that you have to solve this by using the simplex method or you can apply the dual simplex but there is no need of them. So how you can solve this question within a few minutes we will see in this video. So let's start with the first question. Is there. So there are the two ways are there how you can solve that I will tell you the first method and then followed by the second. What is the first method is that you can solve them with the help of the graphically. What is the first line is there this is the line corresponding to them this is my 3 by 2 comma 0 and this is my 0 comma 3 and the second line is 2 and 2 are there this is the line corresponding to this. So since both the constants are greater than 0 so what is the feasible area behind that so this is my feasible area. Then how you can find the coordinates are there so since our target is to minimize them so you can easily see both are the positive so which will minimize more so clearly sees that x will minimize more because whatever the value of v it will be double than of date so it means we focus on the x axis that is here this is the minimum value of the x in this feasible region so it means the optimal answer is my here that's the only option this is the optimal answer that is 2 plus 0 is my 2 is the right answer this is my 2 otherwise what you can do is you can call as this is my a this is my b this is my c then what are the coordinates of the a you can solve them as the point of the intersection and if, if you look about clearly it, uh, it clearly says that the 1 comma 1 point satisfied them and what is the coordinate of the b is 0 comma 3 c is nothing but my 2 comma 0 so if you substitute the value here it will be 3 it will be 6 it will be 2 which one is the minimum is here that i already tell you here so since x minimize more than of the y on the other hand if your objective function be like here which one will minimize more that is more the y less is the value of the w so it means in that case that will be answer is there this is the first way what is the second method is there you can how you can solve this problem with the help of the second method you can write the dual of this problem how you can write the dual of this problem since this is the maximization of the uh, this is the minimization dual will be maximization so 3 y1 plus of the 2 y2 what is the first constant is 2 y1 plus y2 is less than equal to 1 and y1 plus y2 is less than equal to 2 and we all know that whatever the optimal value of the dual and optimal value of the primal they must be same then how you can solve them now again you can solve this again you can see how you can solve this is with respect to the graphically this is the line corresponding to uh, y1 plus y2 is equal to 2 and other another line is my here this is the this is the feasible area corresponding to them what are the coordinates of the a b and o this is a line corresponding to 2 y1 plus y2 so what is the coordinate of the a this is nothing but my half comma 0 coordinate of b is my 0 comma b uh, o is my 0 comma 0 coordinate of my b is my 0 comma 1 now how you can maximize them Max more the max more the y that will be uh, that will be maximized but here you can also see it's a it's there so if you find the value of the z corresponding to this it will be my 3 by 2 it will be my 0 and it will be my 2 so you can again see the answer of this is remain the same in this case we not apply the rule r there because its value is 0 0.5 that's a it's it's a near to this r there but here is a 1.5 and so on so the right answer is my 0 look at the second example are there now there are the three constants are there so then you are unable to up solve this with the help of graphical method then how you can solve them you have to convert this problem into the dual and then we will try to solve it easily since problem is maximization so what is the dual is my minimization so that will be my 1 y 1 plus 2 y 2 what is the first constant is my 10 y 1 plus of 2 y 2 second one is plus y1 minus of 2y2 and the third one is minus y1 plus of 2y2 and since it are the constraints are there so it is 11 coefficient of y is 0 this is my minus 1 now it's a two variable now you can easily draw the graph of this 
what is the graph corresponding to uh, corresponding to this problem is you can easily draw that what is that this is the first line uh, let me draw this one y1 is 1 this will be minus 1 so this is the line corresponding to here then y1 is nothing but twice of this so let's say this is a point of intersection you can solve them this point of intersection you can add them if you add them it will be give you as a y2 is 1 and when y2 is 1 then y1 will be my 2 so this point is my 2 comma 1 another line this is my 11 by 10 this point is my 1 11 by 10 is here and 11 by 2 is this so this is the line of the here so since both are the greater than 0 so which one is the feasible area you can easily see this point is there now how you can find the coordinate of this this is the line of the intersection of this first line this uh, this black color is my second line third one is here so this is the point of intersection of the first line and the third line so you can easily solve this point of the intersection of here minus y1 plus of 2y2 is minus 1 if you subtract them what is the y1 is nothing but my 12 by 11 if you substitute the value of y1 here what is the value of y2 it will be if you if you subtract them it will be here so y1 is 12 so it will be minus 1 plus 12 by 11 so it will be my 1 by 11 of 2 so this is the value here now now you can see uh, so this is the typing here this is the value of the y only minus y1 here so this is there so how you can solve that you can multiply by 2 and solve them you will get the value of y1 as 13 by 12 and if you substitute here this will be my 1 by 12 similarly you can find this pair this is equation number 2 and equation number 1 you can solve them easily you can add them what will happen if you add them this will be cancelled out so the coordinate of y1 is 1 and it is my 2. Now optimal value of this and optimal value of this are same. You can substitute the value. What is the value of the z corresponding to this? 1 plus 4 plus 1 is 5. What is the value corresponding to them is my 2 plus 2, 4. And the coordinate of this is my 13 by 12 and 1 by 12. So if you substitute here, this is 13 plus 2 is my 15 by 12 so you what is the right answer of this what is the maximum value of the z and the minimum value of z is the same so the right answer is my this one because we solve this we want the minimum value so this is one point something this is five four so the right answer of my is here so you can see there is no need to solve this graphical method of or simplex method of this problem you have to solve this problem if you want to find some more problems related to the simplex dual simplex method for the gate preparation you can find this video in my channel name here till then you can simply share this video with your friend best of luck students happy learning